Welcome back riders. Today we're going to be putting the Roof Boxer 2 Carbon to the test. A brand new helmet and successor to the very popular Roof Boxer. This helmet series started 30 years ago and was actually one of the best selling modular helmets around the world at one point. Time to find out what the Boxer 2 Carbon is capable of. Alright, the Boxer 2 Carbon is a modular helmet designed to be protective and comfortable both on shorter and longer rides. The chin bar can be flipped all the way over the shell, technically making it a flip over helmet. Visually, Roof have stayed true to the original concept where the flip up mechanisms turn into these red fangs at the side of the helmet. It has a micromatic closure and the recommended retail price of 600 euros. In this price range, it will compete against many crowd favorites like the Shui Neotech 3, the Schubert C5 and the Arfa 91 series. Let's see how the Roof Boxer Carbon holds up. Alright, first our material segment. Here we'll be using our material matrix to look at two things. First, we look at the material the outer shell is made of and then we check how many outer shell sizes a helmet is available in. The more outer shell sizes, the better, as this makes sure that you'll get a more compact outer shell regardless of the size you get. A more compact outer shell not only looks better, but is safer as well. As the name would suggest, the Roof Boxer 2 Carbon is entirely made of carbon fiber. It's available in two outer shell sizes, which honestly isn't that many. The Boxer earns 3.5 stars, placing in the middle of the list. A decent start for Roof, let's see if we can keep this up in our following segments. We've arrived at our weight segment. Time to put these helmets on the scale and see exactly how much they weigh. We've weighed every helmet on the same scale in a size M without any additional features like a communication system. Then we use our weight matrix to determine star scores. When we weighed the Boxer Carbon 2, our scale indicated a weight of 1517 grams. A very impressive result that places it at the very top of the list and with a sizable margin as well. Roof was already at the top of the modular weight chart with their previous Boxer Carbon, but managed to reduce the weight even further. With this result, the Boxer Carbon earns a solid 3.5 stars. That's it for our weight segment, let's continue to our next segment. Alright, let's take a good look at the visor of the Boxer Carbon 2. Here, we use our visor matrix in which many different visor features and characteristics are listed. And naturally, not every visor feature is equally as impactful on your riding experience. And that's why we've weighed them based on what riders ask us about the most. Let's see how the Boxer 2 Carbon performed. The central idea of the channel is honesty and facts, something we try very hard to uphold in every video, even if it means we have to get very critical of the helmet we're reviewing. Unfortunately for Roof, this is one of those moments. The visor of the Boxer 2 is about as bare bones as it gets, because it has no preparations for a pinlock lens, instead Roof opted for an anti-fog coating. Additionally, the Boxer 2 has no internal sun visor, a relatively narrow field of vision and the visor mechanism is a bit rough and sluggish to operate. Ultimately, the Boxer 2 Carbon only earns a single star for its visor. However, the earlier Boxers had the same lack of visor features but still managed to be one of the best selling modular helmets on the market. This series is clearly designed for shorter city rides, whereas helmets like the Schubert C5 and the Arfa 91 are suited for more heavy duty all day touring. Anyways, that's it for our visor segment. Let's move on to our first road test segment, noise isolation. Time to test the Boxer 2 Carbon out on the road. Our testing method is as follows. We've installed a decibel meter inside the helmet and placed it close to our test rider's ear to record the noise the same way as he hears it. We take our measurements from long stretches of open highway, riding an average of 130 km per hour. And then we run the results through our noise isolation matrix to determine star scores. Let's see how the Boxer 2 Carbon performed. During our test, the Boxer 2 averaged around the 104 decibel mark, which makes it one of the louder modular helmets in this price range. With this result, the Boxer earns 2 stars and finds itself at the bottom of the list once more. Let's see if it performs better in our next road test segment, ventilation. Alright, in this segment, we'll be measuring to what extent the Boxer 2 Carbon is able to manage the temperature inside the helmet. We do this by placing a sensor inside the helmet and this sensor is connected to a thermometer and displays the temperature inside live on the device on the left. At the same time we keep check of the outside temperature and then we compare the two and finally we use our ventilation matrix to determine star scores. The smaller the difference between the in and outside temperature the better a helmet is able to ventilate and the more stars it earns. 
Before we discuss the results, let's have a look at the ventilation options of the Boxer Carbon 2. The top of the shell is fitted with a single but rather large air intake that can be opened and closed. Then, the chin area has two split air intakes that are also adjustable and finally, but both sides of the chin bar can also be opened to serve as tiny air outlets. But most of the warm air will flow through the exhaust on the back of the helmet. Now, let's see how it performed in our test. Here, the boxer actually performed very well. It had a temperature difference of around plus a half a degree Celsius, which means that the helmet is perfectly capable of keeping your head cool out on the road. It earns four stars, a much needed positive result after the last two segments. That's it for ventilation, let's move on to comfort. Okay, great, we've already covered a wide range of criteria and now it's time to discuss how comfortable this helmet is to wear. However, this segment does present a challenge for us, it's difficult to translate the comfort of a helmet into concrete numbers. So, for this segment only, we'll be relying on the more than 17 years of riding experience of our test rider. He's also tested all the other helmets on our channel and can therefore make a comparison like no other. But first, let's take a look at the comfort features of the Boxer 2 Carbon. First off, the padding of the Boxer is removable, washable and antibacterial. The thickness of the cheek pads are easily adjustable if necessary. You can simply remove the foam out of the pockets in the cheek pads to make the fit a bit more loose. However, our test rider noted that the padding inside the helmet is very basic and didn't feel any different to that of the older Boxer Carbon. The liner feels soft, but you won't find the same attention to detail as you would wearing a C5 or a Neotech 3. All in all, the inner liner of the Boxer 2 Carbon isn't very impressive and it earns two stars for this part. All right. One more important segment to go, before we come to our final conclusion. Here, we will be taking a look at all the bells and whistles this helmet is equipped with. Again, we follow our features matrix to determine star scores. This matrix includes a wide range of features, but naturally not every feature is equally as impactful on your riding experience and that's why we weight them based on what riders ask us about the most. Let's see what the Boxer 2 Carbon has to offer. Aside from the fact that the inner liner is easily adjustable, it also leaves room for riders to comfortably wear glasses. Furthermore, the flip-up mechanism works well, with two small points on the side of the helmet. And when you flip the chin bar all the way over, these two points, or like levers, really add to the iconic look the Boxer series is known for. However, the Boxer 2 Carbon doesn't have any speaker pockets or any other preparation for a communication system. It also doesn't come with an emergency quick release. Two important features that most competitors do have. Ultimately, in a category that is known for being equipped with convenient features that will improve your riding experience, the Boxer 2 Carbon falls short and only earns 2 stars. Now, we've covered all of our segments, time to put these scores into perspective and come to a final conclusion. Let's start by putting these scores side by side, starting with our material segment. Here, the Boxer 2 Carbon had a decent start, earning 3.5 stars for its carbon fiber outer shell and 2 outer shell sizes. Then came our weight segment, where it managed to outperform all of its competition, earning 3.5 stars. However, our visor segment proved to be a major point of weakness for the boxer. It lacks almost all of the features that riders in this price range are looking for. Only a single star. Up next was our first road test, noise isolation, where it managed an average decibel measurement of 104 decibels, making it one of the loudest modular helmets in this price range and only earning 2 stars in the process. Then, we moved to our ventilation segment, where the Boxer had an impressive showing. With a temperature difference of around plus half a degree Celsius, it matched the competition and earned 4 stars. However, the Boxer really struggled in our final two segments. Our comfort segment showed that roof didn't really improve the inner liner. The padding is very basic and lacks attention to detail we've come to expect in this price range, only earning 2 stars. Finally, in our feature segment, the Boxer lacked very important features like preparations for a communication system, an emergency quick release and things of that nature, earning another disappointing 2 stars. The Boxer 2 Carbon earned an average of 2.5 stars, for which you pay a whopping 34 euros per star. Obviously, apart from our weight and ventilation segments, the Boxer really struggled throughout this video. However, it's the simplicity and the iconic design of this helmet that makes it so attractive to many riders. It's one of the most recognizable helmets out there, and with this newest version, Roof made solid improvements to the weight and ventilation. And with that, our review comes to an end. As always, we're curious to know what you guys think, and be sure to let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out championhelmets.com, where we offer the lowest price guaranteed and have very sharp discount bundles. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this in your feed. As always, buy smart and ride safe. Until next time.